Carl Summer, president of Reliable EDM, has a wealth of machining experience. Having worked as a machinist, tool and die maker, foreman, tool designer, and operations manager, Carl now shares with you from his wealth of experience. Introduction to tool and die making. What is tool and die making in the first place? Practically everything you see that's made out of sheet metal that has been formed has been done with tool and die making. We have some products here that I have displayed here to give you a little bit of an idea. And then we're going to look at some interesting footage of power presses in operation and forming parts, some very, very complicated operations. Let's look at this pot. This is an extrusion die that was made. Could you imagine a pot being formed like this and coming down and forming a pot? And these are sheet metal handles on the side. And here's a strainer putting all these holes into this strainer. And then we have over here a cover. Here's a pot cover and there's a cutout over here. And here's a scale coming over here. Could you imagine how this is made? This is sheet metal as you can see. And it's been formed. You can see it's formed, even the handle, and there's a lock over here to lock the scale down. And then I have over here a stapler. Now part is a casting, but also a lot of the internal parts has been done with stamping. This is a piece of sheet metal here that's been formed. And also this part over here, and also the outside cover over here. It's been painted, but this is all done by means of tool and die making. For many years I've worked as a tool and die maker. I've also worked as a tool designer where I designed the tooling for tools and dies. And look at this part over here. This is a part that I designed and worked on, did a lot of the design work. And this is a hinge. And if you can envision big conveyor belts like in a coal mine, this comes apart and you put it together and they put a pin in here, then they put rivets inside. How is this made? How is a hinge like this made? Well, here's the sheet that comes out of it. And here's the way it was done. Here's a big coil of steel, and it's fed into the power press. And first of all, the power press comes down and stamps these six holes in here, and puts this little notch in over here. Then it comes over here, and then notches over here and puts in this notch. And it's rather interesting then, the next station, and actually this is the progression. Every time the power press comes down, this part moves this amount. And then it notches this in here, puts in this notch, the next station, puts these dimples in here, that's for your rivets, and it bends this tab down. Notice this tab is sticking up here, and this bends it down here. And then we come along here, and it pushes this down. As you can see, as you can see it over there, it's bent over. And the next station comes down and pushes this down, and so it's totally curved around. And it keeps on progressing. And we can adjust the length of this hinge. And at the end over here, we had a micro switch that when it hit the micro switch, it activated a solenoid which came over here, and then it was cut off and the pot fell off and automatically just resumed cutting. It was automatic operation. When it hit the micro switch, this solenoid would come in and the pot would fall off and we would be making these hinges automatically. I'd like us to take a look how electrical connectors are made. I have here two electrical connectors. One, the plastic is removed so you can get an idea how it looks like without the plastic. And this is a progressive die. And here, first of all, the holes are stamped in. And then this is notched over here. Then it moves over here. Then there's a tiny little hole put in over here. And then it's notched. And then it's bent with this U shape coming up. And it's curled around. And every time the power press comes down, it moves one station. And then there's a cutoff over here. And every time the power press comes down, an electrical connector is made. In the next video of Introduction to Tool and Die Making Part 2, you'll see some amazing footage of complicated progressive dies in operation. 
Located in the heart of the high-tech energy capital of the world, Reliable has the largest EDM job shop capabilities in North America, specializing nationwide in wire, RAM, and small hole EDM. Our commitment to our customers and our passion for technology has made us the EDM specialists.